Hey, what's good, everyone? One sec. Got a couple of things I gotta set up real quick. Where is my... There we go. There's some music. And then also my camera. Super off focus. Super. How is everyone doing today? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm having a fantastic day. Today uh, is the last day of week five. Today we've got a double header. It's not week 5B. I keep forgetting to update these. It's week 5C. Look at that. Look at that. We got one more bracket, and then later on tonight we will be doing this week's Winner's Cup because I cannot stream tomorrow. It's the release of Monster Rancher. It's very unfortunate. I'm not able to stream. I got suckered into doing this thing for work, but it pays very well, so I can't complain too much. You guys are going to have to wait an additional day to watch me stream the new uh, Monster Rancher game. DX comes out tomorrow. <laughs> You're part of the fucking Discord. You guys have been arguing about whether or not it comes out tomorrow or Thursday for the last three days. Just, who cares, man? <laughs> it's coming out soon. Just relax. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm i excited that you're all excited. Isn't it the 9th? You know what? We're not going to get into it. Maybe I'm wrong. The embargo lifts tomorrow, so I don't know. Um, but uh, we'll find out soon enough, right? We'll find out soon enough. This is not, like, me getting frustrated at you or anything like that. Don't worry about it. It's just, uh, the last three days, the Discord has been nothing but people arguing about whether or not it comes out tomorrow or the next day. And it is just so fucking tedious at this point. It's like, I understand people are excited. I get it. But, like, do some push-ups or something. Go kick a ball. Either way, it's this week. Yes, either way, it is this week. Thank you to Brenwin for the follow. Appreciate that, brother. Hope you're having a fantastic day. People arguing over dates. Uh, it's not so much an argument. It's just like, does anyone know when it comes out? And everyone's like, no, nah, I don't fucking know. And you can't really blame them because Tecmo kind of dropped the ball on it. But I digress. We got Monster Rancher Battle League tonight. We got week 5C. That means next week is our last week. We will be doing uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday streams. And we will additionally, well, we won't be doing a Tuesday stream. We'll do, be doing a Monday stream and a Wednesday stream. And we will be doing a Friday stream. Friday will be the Legend Cup. So mark your calendars. The 17th. I'm looking right at you. JP. Matt Moore. You guys are going to say, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it was happening. It's happening on the 17th. I'll have some promo material for it. But you're still going to forget. Either way. Uh, so yeah, next week is the end of Season 2 of the Monster Hunter Battle League. It's bittersweet. Um... Uh, it's going to be nice to be able to take a break. I'm not going to be able to take a fucking break, though. I got so much stuff planned. But it'll be nice to, like, not have to run the league for, you know, a couple of weeks. And then, uh, I don't know. Feeling like the littlest hobo. There's a road that just keeps calling me. I don't know if you guys get that reference, because I'm pretty sure that littlest hobo is only in Canada. I am rambling now. We're just going to get started. We've got a Drunkenstein and YB Zoomer with buys because we only have six monsters this week. We've got Jean-Claude. And we've got Oakley Man's mom. And then here we got a golem fight. We've seen these two scrap it out a couple of times. We've got Gordy and we've got Jolly Green Jack. We're going to go into it. So if you're new to the stream, you don't know what's about to happen. We are going to bet channel points on who you think is going to win. It's best two out of three. If you bet right, you get some channel points. If you bet wrong, I mean, sucks to suck. <laughs> it is what it is. Bet better next time. So here you go. John claude and Oakley Man's mom. Ready for some salty monster rancher? I got two monsters in this bracket today. So you're gonna see some salty monster rancher. JC and Oak Mom. We're gonna do minute long because we're starting on time today. Get your predictions out. Bet on the 35% nuke. Yeah, it's about that. It's about 35%. It's not a great chance. But it does kill instantly. So that's pretty crazy. I keep getting bots following me on Twitter that's like graphics for streamers or like emotes for streamers. Does that mean I made it? Bet on the 35 new because it worked last night? You know, there's one thing about probability, and it's if it happened once, it will happen again.
Hey, back off. That's my gig. That's uh, <laughs> putting Macho's kids through college. There you go. Look at that. Look at those amazing emotes. You can't even do the mock one. You're not even privileged enough to do the mock emote. That's unfortunate. Look at that. You can't even do this one. Made this one for me. It's too broke. Broke ass. Look at that. Anyway, Jean-Claude versus Oakley Man's mom. Here we go. 37%. It's not 35. Doesn't even swing on it. Cyclone of 47 will kill in one hit. Beam gun of 49. He swings first. It misses. Oakley Man's mom has a good chance to win this here. Shockwave not going to kill in one hit. Decent damage though. Not enough damage to proc power on Jean-Claude. Oakley Man's mom does a great damage roll. Gatling gun misses. This is all but over now. The model one's great. The model is absolutely my fave. Oak Man's mom with a huge guts lead. Jean Claude needs to dodge whatever comes in next. He's gonna swing first. It lands. It's a tiny bit of damage. Oakley Man's mom has a massive guts lead and anger, which would have been better for Jean Claude a little while ago. Oh, the shockwave misses, pushes him into cyclone range 52. Acid spit at 46. That one's gonna miss as well. They both have 50 guts. It's not over yet. Either monster can win. Gatling gun at 64. It is Jean Claude's most accurate tech. It misses again. Oakman's mom in a great spot here. Acid spit lands. Oakman's mom is going to win game number one. Dude, the model emote is so good. I'm so happy with how that one turned out. Now we got a rich man model emote. Artillery at 37. Ah, uh, you know. Going for the accurate stuff didn't work. Might as well go for the nuke. It's gnarly. It's a gross attack. It does a lot of damage and a ton of withering. And what's actually crazy is it wasn't significantly buffed from vanilla. Shockwave misses. Beam gun at 53. That's going to hit. 262. No crit there. Jean-Claude has the guts lead. Procs anger. Great time to have anger. Gallon gun gonna have around 80% chance to hit. He needs to attack first though and he's stuck against the wall. Beam gun. He doesn't know what to do. Shockwave at 63. He dodges though. He's still in it. Beam gun at 53%. That one's going to land 420. That's pretty nice. So, one all going into game three. Artillery at 37% chance to instantly win. He goes for it. Fuck. You know what? You can't be mad about that shit missing. It is what it is. Jean-Claude got very lucky in the last game. Dodged a bunch of stuff. Dodges the acid spit there. Both got around 42 guts. Who's going to attack first? Another acid spit. Could come out. Gatling gun. John Claude doesn't know what to do. Oak Commander's mom doesn't know what to do. Shockwave hits. 191 damage. Not a lot of damage. John Claude has a lot of guts. It's going to boost his defense. Artillery at 40. Uh, I thought he was going to use Gatling gun. Gatling gun there probably would have killed on a crit. So if you're a Jean Claude fan like I am, it's pretty unfortunate. Acid spit's going to kill there. And no grit. Oakley Man's mom wins that one 2 1. Damn, I really thought he was going to use Gatling. I mean, he missed every Gatling, but I, I thought he was going to use it there. And that would have been the game if it landed. Very unfortunate. My monster... My monster fucked with me. Next up, we got my other boy. You know, not a great start for Jean-Claude. But because it's a six-man tournament, it's kind of wonky. Losing the first round doesn't actually end up mattering that much. And you'll see why in a second once we take a look at bracket. Gordy versus Jolly Green Jack. We have a golem fight. Prediction is live between these two. Gordy's going to make it tonight. I think Gordy's got a pretty good shot at making it tonight. This isn't like a weak bracket though. Even though there's only six monsters, there is a ton of potential here. These builds are very different. Statistically, they're pretty similar. Uh, Jolly Green Jack has a little bit more life, a little bit less speed, uh, same skill, same power. But uh, Jolly Green Jack is much more about swing, and, and Gordy is much more about doing consistent damage. And Gordy can still swing, but not at the level of Jolly Green Jack. Jolly Green Jack's got them big swings. He's got the uppercut, he's got the diving press. Gordy's all about brow smash. Which, I mean, is still very inaccurate. 
kind of a Hail Mary, but it's not uh, not nearly as crazy as those other two techs. They both got Brow Smash, but Gordy's is much more accurate. Brow Smash at 30 is going to miss Gordy with a pretty good start here after dodging that. Slap at 63, Brow hit. Brow Smash at 47, that one's going to miss as well. Look at that, they both got the exact same guts because they have both have the exact same guts rate. Brow hit at 40, that one misses. Heavy Slap at 67. Ooh, that lands 421 damage. And a lot of 420s tonight. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uppercut at 27, slap at 58, goes for the slap. That one dodged. Jolly Green Jack still in it. Brow hit 43. Ooh, big damage there. Jolly Green Jack takes the lead, has the guts lead. Brow smash at 31. That's going to miss. Gordy still needs to land an attack, though. Jolly Green Jack is in the lead currently. Brow smash a little bit risky. Don't do it, brother. Go for the heavy slap. Brow hit at 56, not too bad either. That one lands 589 damage. They go flick to the forehead, knock him out. Huge concussion there. Gordy wins game one. Who's going to open this time? This time it's Gordy. Gordy lands 792 Jolly Green Jack with seven life left. This is where he shines because he doesn't care. He can swing diving press, he loses nothing for missing. Uppercut at 30%, pretty good chance to hit. It's going to whiff, though. And Gordy with enough guts to attack. What's he going to do? Slap at 60. Ooh, that dodged. Elegant Jack not being hit by the baby slap. Only the big one. Brow hit, going to miss at 42. Gordy's got a little bit of a lead. Heavy slap at 65, his most accurate attack. A little bit risky to throw that many guts away on doing 7 damage, though. Hits the brow hit. And Gordy, I believe, goes lifetime... 4-0 against Jolly Green Jack. It's not a great matchup for Jack. Ice beats grass, that's true. People do say that. I play Pokemon. I know how these things work. Okay, let's take a look at the standings, and we can see real quick why losing that round doesn't really end up mattering that much. Because it's only six monsters, both of those monsters get a buy to the next round. Um, I put them in the wrong spot. They're supposed to be here and here. They both get a buy because they got no one else to fight. And that means that they will fight the loser of the next round. You know, it is what it is. Six man brackets are wonky. You still get the loss. It still screws up your win rate, um, your win ratio, I should say. It messes with your elo. All those things matter with regards to uh, seeding and stuff like that. But it doesn't actually put you any further back into the bracket than if you were to lose the next round. Next up, we've got Drunkenstein, the highest ranked monster currently in rank S. And we got Oakley Man's mom, who has not made a winner's cup yet. The only monsters in this bracket that have not made Winner's Cup are Oakley Man's Mom and Jolly Green Jack. The other four have. Drunkenstein Oakmon prediction is live. Who do you like? Do you like the Suezo? Do you like the Gaboo? What are my predictions for this? Drunkenstein um, does have pretty good shot to hit those uh, I-beams. I-beam is going to be pretty pivotal in this. Ultimate's mom having a hundred gap on, like a two-level gap on skill over Drunkenstein's speed does mean that those crit one-hit kills are uh, on the table for Cyclone, and it does mean that Acid Spit is going to be really hard for Drunkenstein to deal with, more so than normal. Shockwave will become an even better finishing tool because he's going to have such a good chance to hit. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. This is a good matchup. I-beam at 43%. Critical kill. Frame 1. Open man's mom. Jukes out of that. Oh my god, a foolery, but Drunkenstein doesn't have enough guts to attack. Acid spit hits at 53. 473. 
and Damon's here, and we got real, and we got anger. So many things are happening. Loud? That's the secret word of the day. Cyclone at 80 misses? Oh my god, are you serious? Hits the telekinesis in retaliation. Big 285 on the crit. Real angry raid. Yes, welcome Damon Hat. Hopefully you had a good stream. Telepathy misses at 53. You you missed two fights, so you haven't missed much. Spit? Why did Spit do that much damage? What the fuck? Big ass guts lead. Drunkenstein wins game one. Oh, real. That's right. Thank you. I forgot he had real. I beam misses at 44%. Acid Spit misses at 40, 54. And when Real has got bonuses to reverse, thanks. I wasn't aware. You learn something new every day. I Beam at 42 misses as well. Cyclone at 60. Doesn't want to do it. He does want to do it. I'll flex on him. 666. Damn, sent him right to hell with that one. Okay, so Oakley Man, Oakley Mom, I should say, bottoms up and the devil laughs. I be misses. Acid Spit misses as well. Big old puke. Drunkenstein still in this. Has a big guts lead. By big, I mean he's got about a 12 guts lead. Telekinesis miss at 72. Ooh, that's pretty bad for him. Cyclone 58, Shockwave, Acid Spit at 52, goes for the Acid Spit, misses it again. Telepathy misses, nobody can land anything, we are halfway through this match, nobody's landed a dang thing. Probably just because we remember it more, but 311 and 666 tends to happen a lot, it's absolutely just because we remember it more. I beam the big crit, 700 damage, it was always on deck, it was always a threat. Drunkenstein moves on to winner's finals. Pretty good stream, can't wait until tomorrow or the next day. Yes. So I'm feeling. Um, I <laughs> I spent almost a full three days getting together my next video. I'm hoping I can have it out tomorrow sometime. If I wake up early tomorrow, I might be able to uh, drop it before I go to work. Gotta leave for work at like 11 a.m. So, oops, let me uh, do these on the right side. Technically, Gordy is on the bottom side of the bracket. Yeah, my next video isn't like a Rancher Rundown or anything like that. It's a little bit lower effort. It's just um, how to unlock all the monsters in both games. Did a project that... Oh, did I enter the right monster? I did not. Oakman's mom, what are you doing? Get out of here. You're skipping. We need big Bakuhuna's monster. YB Zoomer. Yellow Belly Zoomer. Let's get some Yellow Belly Zoomers in the chat. Oak mom loses that one. Drunkenstein gets the win. Don't think I have anything. Yeah, yellow to belly zoomers! Yeah, yellow belly zoomers! There you yeah, go. yellow belly zoomers! You know, that's my own fault. Yeah, yellow belly zoomers! I brought this on myself. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. Doing Speedball Finals on the 9th, that's dope. And plan to do a streamery catalog CDs. That'll be fun, too. Um, yeah, I don't have anything big planned. I'm going to be doing a stream on the 9th. And, uh... I do have a big thing planned, but it's not specifically for the release. It's just yeah, yellow belly zoomers! It's part of it. You guys will find out next week what the big thing is once I have some time to actually edit together a little promo video. I have not had any time. I have I literally have no time. It sucks. Okay, you got about five seconds left. Get your bets in. Rem helped Fenric. Yeah, I'm in that chat as well. Uh, they've already found over a thousand different discs, so they've been going nuts. 
Meteor Drive 43, Brow Smash 48, both killer attacks. Javelin at 51, that's going to land. Big damage there on the crit. Gordy chilling though, Brow Smash on a 50-50, it lands. 978 damage. Telling him he should have used Meteor Drive. Yeah, Macho's been uh, doing some as well. I haven't done any actual digging. Meteor Drive 43, Brow Smash at 48. Dead horse. Didn't even hit him in the front of the horse. We all know that's the weakest part, but he got him right in the forehead. Brow Smash, 50%. Goes for it again. It hits again. 624. Not enough to kill. YB Zoomer doesn't get power, so he's got to just use his own brute strength. Goes for Smash. Misses at 54. Gordy with a pretty good chance to hit some of these techs. Kick at 52. You don't see kick above 50% very often. Gordy, quick 2-0. Advances to winner's finals. Well now. Well, now. So you know what that means? That means we get to see YB Zoomer fight again, immediately. You got Bakahuna with YB Zoomer. And we got me again, but this time it's with my boy JC. Who is that? Who rolled that? Comrade Bob gets himself a B-clon. A little rare bug. Give me a sec. While prediction is open, I'm gonna update Moose Manor. Or, <laughs> not gonna update Moose Manor. I'm gonna update my text document that has all the things that have happened in the last two weeks. YB and JC only have time for initials here. Prediction is live. Make ya bets. Is this today's only bracket? No, we're doing... Um, we're going to be doing the Winner's Cup after this. It's going to be about five minutes for me to set it up, but, you know. We're, we're about 15 minutes being, from being done this one. It's going to be very short. Comrade Bob gets himself a B-clon. If you guys don't know what that was, uh, there's a gotcha game called Moose Manor that we play here where you spend channel points on random rolls, unlock mystery discs. Uh, first, you gotta buy a plot on Moose Manor. You gotta buy a house. So if you're interested in playing, you can do that. Whoever gets all of the, one of every monster first wins a little prize. Nobody knows what the prize is, but uh, sometimes a mystery box is the most enticing. YB Zoomer versus Jean-Claude. Here we go, Meteor Drive at 44, Artillery at 55. Meteor Drive misses, oh my God, Jean-Claude. With a 60 guts lead, goes for beam gun at 73. It hits. Set 320. Gatling gun is the combo. Does he do it? Does he finish him off with the Gatling gun? No, he goes for artillery at 60%. That lands 902 damage. Jean Claude wins game one. Got the last Mondo yet? He hasn't got the last Mondo yet. He's still trying to get that ape. Or whatever it is. I think it's ape. He still hasn't got. Matt Moore got every monster in Series 1. Just can't dodge tonight? No, he's having some trouble. Meteor Drive 47. That one lands. That's a kill. There's the grit, though. It's not over yet. YB Zoomer also only has, like, 700 speed. Haha, <laughs> who doesn't have ape? Couldn't be me. Beam gun at 68%. That lands. 240. They both got about 40 guts. Now it's going to come down to who attacks first. Javelin. It's a swing and a miss. Jean-Claude in beam gun range goes for it at 68. It misses this time. YB Zoomer can attack again. 53 meteor drive at 45. Why does that rhyme? Beam gun at 66. It hits. 212 damage. Jean-Claude's still in this, but uh, YB Zoomer just needs one attack. Pushes him away. Meteor drive lands it again. There you go. YB Zoomer on the board. One all going into game three. Beam gun opener at 67 hits. Not a lot of crits from Jean-Claude today, despite that being his whole, you know, raison d'etre. Javelin at 54. That's going to land. 313 damage. Not enough to proc power. Artillery at 56%. Goes for it. It misses. YB Zoomer's got a huge shot here. Goes for another Javelin at 57. That one misses, though. Still has a guts lead, though, because Javelin is a pretty cheap tech. Stab throw at 36. 
Meteor Drive at 46. Who's going to attack first? Gatlin Gun at 80. He hits the Gatlin Gun. How much damage are we looking at? 381. Not enough to kill. YB Zoomer gets power, which is great for him. He can rely on Javelin or Smash. Goes for Meteor Drive, though, and that misses. He's not going to be able to attack again with power. Jean-Claude will be able to attack slightly before his opponent, but they have very close guts. It is going to come down to the last attack. Both of them can attack now. 45 guts on both sides. Smash at 54, pushes him away. Gatling Gun at 82. Oh my god, Jean-Claude is going to beat YB Zoomer and advance. What a match. That shit was crazy. Shit was insane. I'm sorry. Sorry I had to do it to you, Baku. Next up, we got Drunkenstein. The push was not the play. He was in smash range. It was perfect. He could have swung, you know, just had to do a little bonk. He would have done enough damage. Instead, he pushes him into an 80% accurate tech. Hate to see it. That's, you know, I like to be on the receiving end of that occasionally. I've had some pretty bad luck. But I know what it feels like to be on the other side. Wait, what? Drunk versus Jack? Yes. They swap sides of the bracket so they don't get double eliminated by the same monster. Oh, sorry, not not drunk. Why did I do that? Oak mom. It's supposed to be Oak mom. Sorry, thank you uh, for pointing that out. My B. My B, bro. Drunk hasn't lost yet. Comrade Bob here to make sure. His monster is pissed. Look at that. It's just frame one. Fuck. Get the hell out of here. Get me away from this. I gotta fight the other golem. My B brother. Okay, Oakley Man's mom versus Jolly Green Jack. I'm glad I didn't make a prediction yet. There you go. Oak mom and Jack. Just warming up for Gordy. Is it my B or YB? Did I lose 5 0 too often? I'm not allowed to use Red Fox color anymore. Oh, did I lose to Leffen? I mean, I got the reference regardless, even with the typo. I'm not, yeah, I'm not allowed to use Tyrant anymore. I, I can only use blue golems. Got 20 seconds left. Get those bets in. Today has been a pretty high octane. I've seen some crazy shit today already. Such a loss for me. I know. It's unfortunate. I can't use... I can't use Tyrant. I can't use Dagon. Dagon's sick, but I can't use him. I'm stuck having to use Big Blue. It's very unfortunate. Brow Smash opener, 30%. It lands. It kills Jolly Green Jack with the one hit. The one tap. Put that shit in a COD montage. Game two. We have not seen, uh, oh my god, not enough to kill, he's still alive, okay, okay. Holy shit, 30%, 100%, doesn't matter, it's Monster Rancher, baby. Acid Spit hits at 56, 8, 18, how do you like it? Oki Man's mom wins that. I think the brain just instantly turns to much, I think it atomizes, it like, it's like getting hit with the Thanos snap. And just dissipates into nothing. Cyclone 58, probably not going to kill in one hit, 511, decent damage, diving press at 29. We have not seen Jolly Green Jack do his patented stage diving today. We got to see one, there's the one, he hits it, I called it, I fucking did it again. Call me the Monster Rancher Prophet, because not only can I see the future, I'm making money. Good God. He hits it, Jack wins. Brother. I'm too good at this. I'm too, too good at this. 
That was a good chunk for you, yeah. It was like 10 to 1 odds. Next up, we got Sean Claude. And we got Jolly Green Jack. I'm going to re enter him just to make sure all of his techs are in the right order. Who was that? JP gets himself another hair. There was a while where he didn't have any hairs, and then he got many, many in a row. And it's been very funny to me. If you're wondering why I re entered the Golem, here's a little thing if you are planning on uh, ever running your own tournaments. I've I talk about this on stream a lot, but it's a very specific thing. Jolly. Prediction is live. So your monster's tech loadout is based on whatever its final order of techs were when uh, you entered your last battle with him. So say on Jean-Claude, I have artillery and I have um, Gatling gun. Artillery is above Gatling gun because that's how I wanted it. The way I made sure that was the case is I went into a battle before I sent him to... Uh, before I finalize a memory card, and I made sure that artillery was the active tech. If you uh, say no to a rematch, but don't re-enter the monster, whatever order the monster's techs were in at the end of that last battle will be the same order they're in at the beginning of the next one. And, you know, that could maybe fuck up somebody's whole game plan. Like, for example, Jean-Claude starting with Gatling Gun, not always the best play because it's not enough to kill in one hit, and it's a lot of guts gone, so... Um, I would prefer it if other tournament hosts made sure my monster had the right text in the right order, and so I do the same for others. JP gets another hair. Brow hit 41%, misses. Beam gun at 64. Beam gun misses at 64. Diving press at 26, he can do it. Beam gun at 62, misses again. Look at that, 29 now. He doesn't miss, folks. But there's the grit. Jean-Claude giving it his all today. Another beam gun. Finally hits one. 370. Decent amount of withering there. Gets anger. Jean-Claude's pretty close to 45 guts. He can maybe take advantage of this anger if he uses artillery or something. He needs to back up, though. Another beam gun, 86. You know, not a bad play. Hits it. There's another crit. Does a decent amount of withering, but Jolly Green Jack is still in this. He can swing. Brow smash at 33. That one misses. Jean-Claude needs to land one more attack still. Beam gun at 64. Gatling gun at 80. Just use something, my brother. Jean-Claude, attack, please. Artillery at 52 uses his least accurate tech. Oh my god, and he misses. Jolly Green Jack wins game one. Almost gets the world's longest grit comeback. Instead, Jolly Green Jack is up a game. Uppercut at 29. Diving press at 27. Brow smash at 31. Not very accurate text, but Jolly Green Jack only needs to hit one, and he's going to hit the uppercut because why wouldn't he? Jolly Green Jack literally landed his last four techs below 30%. That is, you know, that's what Stardust's monsters do. That's how they do. It is what it is. So let's take a look as we get into our finals, see where we're at. We got Drunkenstein and we got Gordy on the top side. One of those monsters will be moving on to this week's Winner's Cup. And on the loser side, we got Jolly Green Jack waiting in the wings. He will fight the loser of Drunkenstein and Gordy. And hopefully, for Stardust, he will move up. Got clowned a little bit. It's unfortunate thinking back that he dodged like 370s or like 270s and then hits a bunch of 30s. That's how Monster Rancher works, though. It's not fair. It's not fair specifically to me. He had a mono... What? Is, he had a mono Galleon Vanilla Grand Finals? Oh, in... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. Stardust raises good monsters, but he seems to uh, benefit a lot from going like hyper risky, and then it just always pays off for him. Good proof of concept that you don't need an optimal build to win. It's a. Oops, that's the wrong monster. My bad. Dougie got eliminated yesterday. Let's get that RNG out of the way.
That's two game opening eye beams against the wrong monster. Okay, here we go. Wasting your luck? I'm sorry. Not sorry. Jolly Green Jack gets the win. Pink Eye always starting up at 100, just fucking revving. Yeah, prediction is live, Drunkenstein and Gordy. Who do you like? Just fucking giving her, bud. Just floored her. She wants to get those monsters out of there. He's like, I'm trying, I'm helping. Yeah, it's been interesting seeing some people talk about competitive play who have never been part of it, and they're like, I don't like competitive play because I don't want to have to raise a, an optimized top-tier monster. And it's like, cool, me neither. I don't. I don't see my intelligence tiger or my gel that relies on landing a fucking 40% or less tech. Telekinesis lands at 70%. Decent damage there. Gordy at 50. Guts. What's he going to do? Kick. Oh, he has worse tech. He goes for it anyway. Spit hits at 58. Gordy doesn't get angry. Drunkenstein is going to get 45 at the same time as him. Another kick. No, he's going to go for something else. He's going to get fucking bonked with an eye beam. Is this just going to happen to me? Am I just going to have... Like, three rounds in a row again where my monsters don't dodge a single attack. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, Rivers Cuomo. Hits the heavy slap. 391. He's got the anger. Bro, let me fucking dodge something. Please. Please. Falcon. Oh my god! Ah... Uh... Streamer luck gone wrong. Prank gone wrong. Drunkenstein wins game two. Cross smash at 39. That misses. Pushes him back. I beam 49. There's a dodge. We got a game. Spit misses. We got a game. Slap at 56. It's gonna be a little bit of damage. Oh, that was quite a bit of damage. Drunkenstein with a big guts lead now, though. He gets anger. Gonna have an even bigger guts lead. Gonna land another angry eye beam. Angry telepathy gonna do a lot of withering. Into the eye beam. Oh, it misses though. Spit misses at 60. Gordy, dodging, doing his best. Dodges another spit. He knows I'm angry at him. He doesn't want to walk home. Dodges the eye beam. He's doing it. Goes for the slap at 60. It lands. Gordy makes it a set. It is 2-1 Drunkenstein. He's doing the shuffle. He's doing the truffle shuffle. Game number four. Spit hits. A little bit of damage. A little bit of withering. Gordy gets anger. Maybe not the best time to get anger. But he is building up a lot of guts. Brow smash at 41 with anger. It lands. That's going to kill 999 damage. Gordy brings it to a game five. Game five, folks. I beam at 44. It misses. Gordy's got a guts lead. What's he going to do with it? Slap at 60. Goes for the cheap damage. It misses. They both got about 47 guts. Telekinesis at 69. Spit at 57. Gordy's got 40 on Brow Smash. I beam at 43. It misses again. Gordy with a 30 guts lead. Heavy Slap is most accurate. Tech at 64. He goes for it. It lands. It does not kill though. Drunkenstein still alive. Still in this. It's not over yet. Crit I beam still a thing you have to look out for. Slap hits though. And Gordy. My boy. The three game comeback. Reverse 3-0. He makes it to this week's Winner's Cup. So we will see Gordy again. You know, sometimes this is a great game.
When, when I'm winning, this is a great game. Oh my god. With 70% dodges on a golem. I mean, he didn't dodge a single 70%. He didn't dodge a single telekinesis. He dodged, I think he dodged one spit at like 65. Now you get to deal with Stardust luck. I mean, you just dealt with my luck. Bitching works. It does. Your monster hears you and they feel bad for sucking so hard. It's like you're like a toxic parent at your kid's Little League game. And they're like, I gotta prove it to dad. So, <laughs> you know what? I that's too sad. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring up that analogy anymore. This is genuinely upsetting. Drunkenstein, and this time we got Jolly Green Jack. Prediction is live. Who will be joining Gordy in this week's Winners Cup? There's been so many times I've been super pissed at your monster, and things completely turn around. You just, you know. That's the secret, brother. They talk about it. The power of positive thinking. Will it into existence? Believe in your boy? I, dude, I was shook that I had to fight Drunkenstein. I was so upset that uh, Oakley Mom lost because I think he has a much better matchup against Oakley Mom. Well, it into existence. Did you write that at the same time I said it? That's pretty funny. Okay, here we go. Drunkenstein, Jolly Green Jack. I beam misses at 55. Brass smash at 43. Drunken, please pop off again. Drunken was popping off hard. Wanted that win. I'd probably type that as soon as you said it. That's pretty funny. Uppercut at 36 misses. Spit at 75 misses, but he hits the telepathy. 400 damage on the crit. Telepathy is a pretty good tech. I used to think it kind of sucked, but uh, it does so much work on every Swayzo that picks it up. My forehead looks very shiny in this light. That's so funny. I wonder why that is. Got a little chrome dome action going on here. Diving press at 40, it misses. Yo, Dalek, how are you doing? Still on the telepathy is not very good train. Well, you're on the wrong train, brother. <laughs> to be like, you're. I totally was like, you know what? It's a little bit inconsequential, doesn't do anything. It's got a pretty good chance to crit, though. I think it's better than telekinesis. And I used to think the opposite. Right. Might be the game's most underrated tech. No, I I don't know if I would say that. Um, it's better than people give it credit for. Yeah, I can agree with that. I don't think it's like special in any way though. Drunkenstein gets the KO. What would be worse? I gotta think of something that I think is great and everyone else is like, this move sucks. And I don't think there is actually a lot of techs like that. Um, what do I think is, like, secretly a really strong tech? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I have anything where everyone else is like, this is dumb. I think the only thing would be Twiddling 2. I think Twiddling 2 is a fantastic tech. Um, I don't think it's, like, top tier, but I think it's, like, particularly strong. And it has a reputation for being really bad. Angry diving press misses. Drunkenstein has the guts lead. His opponent still has anger. Spit at 94. Not enough to kill, but he can just do it twice in a row. That's exactly what he's going to do. Drunkenstein, once again, is advancing to Winner's Cup. What is this? His third week in Winner's Cup? Fourth week in Winner's Cup? Might be his fourth week. Headbutt and head assault. Yeah, uh, just Mew in general. I think this, the things that I think are good on Mew are things that nobody else thinks are good on Mew. Fourth winner is this fucking guy. He's number one in the league for a reason. Jolly Jack having a bad time. That was a pretty dominant 3-0. Unfortunately, Stardust couldn't land the 30s. Well, we got to run. 
our grand finals, even though both of these monsters advance. So congrats once again, comrade Bob. Drunkenstein and Gordy. Prediction is live. Before you bet, uh, it's a little bit uh, confusing because Drunkenstein is on the number one and Gordy is on the number two. And the number one color is blue and the number two color is pink. So don't bet, don't vote for the wrong monster. Don't bet on the wrong monster. He keeps losing to a plant. I mean, Bombo's going to be there again. He's probably going to lose to the plant again. Bombo, I think Bombo and Drunkenstein are like one and two monsters left. As much as I hate to say it, I don't think any of my monsters are like uber deserving. I think every monster in rank S has a shot. You know, every monster in rank S, if they make it, good for them. But I think Drunkenstein and Bombo are like the two like strongest monsters left. And it'd be kind of sad if they don't make it in. Bombo wins the whole league. I think Bombo is incredibly powerful. I'd be miss at 43%. Kick at 46. I cannot wait to get rid of Kick if Gordy makes it to the Legend Cup. What the, What were you even aiming at there? What the fuck was that? Bro, of course you missed that. That was so off axis. I beam lands, it's not enough to kill though. Gordy's still in it, gets anger, and build up a couple of those guts. Angry heavy slap, angry brow hit, this could be a play. Hits it for 400 damage. Has just enough guts to attack again. Who's gonna swing first? Both monsters can, brow smash at 40. He misses it, Drunkenstein's got a good shot to win it now. Still torn in telekinesis, I think it's good. Um, but I would understand why you would want to get rid of it. I beam at 49 misses. Gordy's got a shot. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna do anything? Oh no, Drunkenstein gonna go for the last second split. The last second spit. Block Gordy out of attacking. How did you guys bet on this one? This is Grands. We got almost everybody on Gordy. Damn. I guess you guys were expecting him to win at least one of the two sets. That's fair. Spit and I beam. I think that's probably the optimal Swayzo build is spit and I beam. I've talked about it quite a bit. Don't want to fuck with the build? Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't get to do anything, right? Like, you can only remove text in Legend Cup. Oh, I see what you mean, though. So if you would have had to, like, flip the order on them, you would have to go to a tournament. Yeah, I see. I gotcha. Telepathy. Drunkenstein. Big damage. Brow smash at 41. It misses again. Drunkenstein just hanging on by a thread. Just needs to finish this off. Another spit will do it. Drunkenstein up 2-0. Still think Mixed Attacker Swayzo's optimal build if stack cap allows it. Tongue Slap is so good, man. And so is Chewing. Brow Smash miss at 40%. First set, just data. He knows it's just data. Telekinesis hits at 75. Drunkenstein has a huge guts lead. He's gonna go for another one. He is, but it misses. And just like that, Gordy has caught up. Heavy slap at 61. There's the I-beam, the I-beam misses. Gordy now has a big guts lead. Brow smash at 44 will kill if it lands, but he misses like his fifth one in a row. Drunkenstein. Has enough guts to attack. What's he going to do? Cross smash at 38. Drunkenstein has 50-ish on everything. Slap hits. How much damage are we looking at? 272. Not enough to put Gordy in the lead, I don't think. It's very close. I-beam at 48 lands. That is going to take it. No, there's the grit. Gordy's got like one second to make something happen. Is he going to attack? He is not. Drunkenstein resets bracket with a quick 3-0. Personally, like having the slot two, three techs in the build because I beam is so risky. I feel that. Brow smash misses again. You know, 40% isn't 0%. Give me a break, game. Spit at 63. Decent damage and a little bit of withering there. Two in a row. 
Just keep spitting, baby. How we do? Telepathy misses on the 50-50. Gordy's back in it. Cross smash at 39. Not a great chance to hit. The IB misses at 44. Heavy slap at 64. That's going to land. 445 damage. Drunkenstein doesn't get angry. That would have been a great time for him to get angry. Another I beam that misses. Everybody's missing those 40% today. Brow smash at 43. Misses it again. He's got to hit one eventually. You you say that. Drunkenstein with about a 20 guts lead. Is he going to do anything? Both monsters can attack. Who's going to swing first? I beam hits at 47. There's the grit. Once again, Gordy not going down immediately. He's doing his best. He's got half a second. Does he make a play? He does not. Once again, Drunkenstein, four games straight. Never knew moves were interchangeable only in certain slots. Yeah, you can't just put anything anywhere. So some monsters have like really strong slots and like really weak slots. Kick misses at 42. I-beam at 47, he swings on it, that misses as well. Telepathy hits at 46. Big damage there. Incidental withering really comes in clutch, it really does. Draw smash hits at 41, he finally hits it. We're one all in set number two. Game two. Game three, sorry. I-beam 43 misses, there it is, he hit the one. It's like close to a 50-50, and he's hit it one out of like seven times. You know, sometimes that's the best you can hope for. Brow hit at 49, lands at 510 damage. Telekinesis at 73, going to do a decent amount of withering and damage there. No anger on Gordy, probably a better play than getting angry. Heavy slap can land now. Who's going to swing first? Brow hit 38%. Very unlikely to hit, so of course it does. 775. Gordy goes up 2-1. He hits it when it's at its lowest chance to hit. You should have shut up. Nah, just keep talking, bro. Make sure you keep that energy for uh, the Winner's Cup. Give me your PayPal. Goes for another heavy slap. It's going to miss. Drunkenstein's got a massive guts lead. He's probably going to win this game. It's going to be really hard for Gordy to pull this off. Double spit. Triple spit. Third one misses. There's the I-beam. The I-beam lands. Another grit. Dude, that's, that's actually unfair. Three KOs in set two. Three grits. He's not landing the I the brow smashes, but he's getting the grits. Slap, fifty-eight. Damn, dude. Now you know how it feels to fight against your fucking monster. You're gritting every time. What is this? There you go. Gordy gets it. Can't grit to save my life. Not today, apparently. But now I know what it finally feels like to be able to grit. I know what it feels like to chew five gum. Here we go. Let's take a look at the final bracket. Congrats anyway, Comrade Bob, even though, you know, you got a little fucked at the end. Here's how this bracket ended. Gordy with the... winning the reset after uh, getting it dismantled in set number one. Uh, Jolly Green Jack getting third, Jean-Claude getting fourth. Unfortunately, third and fourth don't really matter, but, you know, they were contenders. He was down to one hit point. Yeah, that's, uh, what Grit does. When your monster dies, uh, there's a chance they can come back with one life and try and make something happen. I went so dry on Grit, they all happened in one grand final, and I'm never gonna see another one again. Hopefully that's not the case, because we've got the winner's cut... We got the Winner's Cup. I don't know what a cump is. Sounds gross, though. Uh, we got the Winner's Cup coming up right after this. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a quick break to go get some more water and set up Final Bracket. And I will see you guys very shortly. Probably two and a half minutes, three minutes, maybe. Something like that. Oh, you know? Don't. Oh, you gross. <laughs> 